So today for our Lul study that we've been doing throughout the month of Lul here at the ISJL, um, we're going to talk about Hesed and Hebrew Hesed Deem. Um, so Hesed translates into a number of things in English, benevolence, kindness, um, but just like all Hebrew words, the best way to use it is Hesed because that's the only way to like, you know, get at it. So um, I'm going to give you guys a smattering of interesting facts that we can consider moving forward into the new year. Uh, so as I said earlier, Hesed is kindness. Um, and when I first started researching this, I kind of fell into a Kabbalah, um, Kabbalah bowl. And uh, so I'm gonna go over, <laughs> sorry, it stopped. Um, I'm gonna go over um, what Kabbalah talks about being Hesed, because I was like, oh, that is so cool and so beautiful. Um, so the, it is said that the world was built with Hesed from Psalm 89.3. Um, and so, Kabbalah focuses a lot on creation, right? So um, they're very, like Kabbalah, Kabbalistic sages are very focused on um, the first few days of creation and the first thing that happened in the world was the creation of light. God said, let there be light and there was and it was good. Uh, so Kabbalistic sages have connected Hesed to light. Um, and so one of the things that I found that was beautiful when I was researching is that the light that shines throughout the world is the Hesed of like is, is hesed, so all the light in the world um, is based on kindness. So I think going forward into the next year, we can consider what light we're bringing from this year into next year with us, um, and what goodness and happiness we're bringing. Um, so if you wanna take a moment, we can share as a group if we want, or you can just personally consider um, what that is gonna be, what good you have done, what kindness you have created in the world, and how you're gonna bring that forward into the next year. Any takers? I don't know. Go ahead. So for instance, I um, I just adopted a cat, um, and he is a little he's a little fireball of uh, cuteness, and so I think going forward, I want to bring his like energy uh, into the next year with me because he has like such fun little bouts of energy. Um, so that's the kindness that I see in the world right now that I want to kind of like bring into myself and move it forward. So I moved here just a few months ago, as did most of us. And um, a lot of people really made me feel welcomed and wanted in this community. And when I go out to our communities, I want to bring that same sense of joy and welcoming into those communities and just bring that sort of light and love with me when I travel. Um, I also just adopted a cat, <laughs> fun fact. But um, I think something I've been thinking about both in light of that and then also in light of like other friendships and relationships in my life is that um, even the like kind of the beauty that can be found in like the complexity of different types of relationships with different people and that like sometimes you need something and sometimes someone else needs something and kind of always trying to find that balance between like uh, like getting what you need to like be a happy person but also like finding ways to stop and listen even if you've had a bad day and so I think that's something I'm continuing to try and work on um, is like not going into a little hole if I've had a bad day but like finding ways to also be there for other people who have had bad days. Thank you guys for sharing. Um, if there's no more going forward, I think we should blow the shofar. Uh, so, Levon would say, stand up. And like, can I just blow it? Like, which I just do it without the. Yeah, you do it without the call. So I do all the guys. Mm -hmm. All yeah, the guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. That wasn't right though. I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 